how's it going guys RNG life here and welcome back to another RNG extra today we're just talking about the ban list or I guess we should call it a semi limited limited it's nothing gets banned in Duel Links nothing gets hit to zero um, it, everything's just limited or semi limited but whatever uh, so we're gonna talk about the ban list and uh, the new skill rebalances and this is it and all the complaining and they're like yeah you know what we should hit spellbook of fate uh, let's limit Spellbook of Fate. That is true. I'm not complaining. This card is really obnoxious. It's really annoying. It's limited to two, by the way, which means at the very least they can't run it with Treacherous. Um, or they can, technically. They're, they run this at one and then Treacherous at one and they search this because every card in the Spellbook searches. So it's not like it's going to be difficult to search this from the deck and then activate it early and get a really, really early advantage. Uh, and then it's just about them getting lucky and getting their one copy of Tretch. So, I mean, Spellbooks got a slight hit, but it wasn't really enough. I don't know. I felt like if they really wanted to kill Spellbooks, they should have hit Blue Boy or probably Blue Boy, to be honest. Spellbook, Spellbook of um, Secrets is, is a really good card in the deck, but if they hit Blue Boy, they wouldn't be able to use it as much with Silent Waifu, which they still would. They'd probably just run Breaker or something, but I don't know, man. The deck is still kind of obnoxiously strong and this probably won't slow it down this card will be semi limited because it has the potential to completely shut down many decks no freaking duh dude and and limiting it to two is not gonna stop it it really won't as they're just gonna search it uh, another card that i'm actually kind of hyped for is silent sword slash uh this card has proven to be like really obnoxiously strong uh, because of the whole silent swords I mean otk <laughs> my boy Aota juice man uh popping Popularized, I guess uh, he, he's been using this this deck and just destroying people uh, and and it's it's a really strong deck that's all I gotta say and they're doing this because we're getting the new silent swordsman structure deck and I guess I mean they're doing it because of that uh, one thing that does make me kind of question it is that the ban list does kick in on the 24th so if they're if they're preemptively hitting it does that imply we're getting the new uh, structure deck on the 24th or 25th I'm not sure uh, because if we get it before then then we're, we're gonna get to taste the full power of silent sword slash at three with the new silent uh, swordsman structure deck and it's gonna be pretty busted I must say so I, I think we might be getting uh, we might have an actual uh, date for when we're getting the new structure deck I'm not sure though I don't know any dates uh, so there's that and then on, and then the last card is the baby tiger is free so they're just basically saying like yeah you know what <laughs> we hit amazon is a little bit too much baby tiger it's not even on the list anymore it's it's back dude it's back uh and, and from what they say it on here this card will be removed from the list because Amazon is Onslaught and Amazon is Princess are both on the forbidden, forbidden limited list, preventing this monster from being summoned numerous times. Uh, that is true, and I mean to be fair, yeah, sure, bring back the baby tiger. I, I I'm down for it. Uh, there are some decks that I want to make use of this. I want I want to actually use baby tiger in a deck using Junk Synchron or something. I don't know, but. There's, there's some cheeky shenanigans I want to do with it, but I don't know. Uh, Baby Tiger, I guess welcome back. It's not like it's going to make Amazonus much more busted, but hey, who knows? That's all that they, they decided. You know what? All the decks that are really busted right now, we're only going to hit Spellbooks. And Silent Sword, I sure, we're going to hit them as well. And that's about it i mean no hits for masked heroes in general that they're like nah th th those aren't a problem <laughs> kawaki Maru, I, I heard are like extremely busted right now they're just too strong i'm telling you guys that diamond core is too good it's so good um and they're just able to destroy pretty much anything so yeah they're, they're like nah that, that deck that deck's still making us money so we're, we're not gonna hit it yet and, and it, uh, to be honest that sounds about right with Konami. Uh, we are going to get new mass heroes in the, the new um, selection box. Uh, we're going to get the, I guess, Dion, and we're getting mass change reprint and Anki reprint. So that's like for everybody, even even including me, that don't have mass, or at least Anki at three, or maybe even mass change, uh, that this is your chance to get it. And to be honest, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, if you want to play the best deck... <clears throat> One thing I do think that's going to happen, something Konami has been known to do in the past is that they release a new like busted whatever deck or at least upgrades to a deck, support for a deck. Like in this situation, mass heroes are going to get even stronger and maybe like two months later they're like, all right, we already put out all the support we needed. Let's go ahead and, and hit and hit mass change or let's hit Anki or whatever. They're going to they're going to do something like that. It probably in two or three months. So it just just. 
Oh, wait for it. I, I'm kind of calling it now. Um, so that's that's something Konami tends to do. Uh, so there's that. They didn't hit vampires. They didn't hit a lot of things. They're just like, eh, screw it, dude. Fair enough. <laughs> They're like, no, we don't, we don't care about those decks. All we, all we want to hit is fate. And I mean, fair enough. But aside from all that, it looks like we got a huge amount of skills. And what all of these have in common is that they all require you to take 1800 damage to get their effect. So, for instance, Zombie Draw originally said that it was uh, you need to take 1,800 points of damage in order to, instead of getting a normal draw, you draw a, a random zombie monster, which, I mean, that's how a lot of these work. Bring it, Kyber Court Bling, all of these work the same way. You had to take 1,800. Now, instead, you're taking 1,000. So, the only thing is, I think that might be selling more Cosmic Cyclones because all these, all these um, skills... They're going to be amazing with Cosmic Cyclone. Now all you have to do is basically use Cosmic Cyclone, wreck their back row. Next turn, you're going to get the exact card you want to draw, uh, depending if you're running the deck correctly for these skills. Uh, because a lot of these skills you don't really want. Like if you're running Zombie Draw, you don't want to run this in like a full-on zombie deck. You want to run this in a deck that has one zombie tuner or zombie... I don't think we have any zombie tuners in the game, by the way. Uh, but from TCG experience, uh, if you want to draw that one like playmaking zombie card, that's what you're trying to use it for. Uh, but it's the same for all of these. And I think that's okay. I'm actually a big fan of them buffing skills. I like it when they make skills stronger. I don't like it when they hit nerf skills, make them weaker, unless it's very deserving. For example, one of them being Arcana's Trick Up the Sleeve. And that one didn't get hit. And I mean, to be fair, I... I kind of see why not. It's not like a tier zero meta deck or anything. It's not completely breaking the game. It's just making Blue Eyes uh, competitive. That's all it, all it really does. And to be honest, I've had friends that are starting Duel Links and they'll come to me and be like, hey man, I'm, I'm starting the game. Uh, I lost my account. Uh, what should I invest in? And, and I will straight up tell them, buy the Blue Eyes structure deck. Um, get Arcana and GG, you have a decent competitive deck. And I think that's pretty much what the deck is. It's kind of an introduction to the meta for beginners. And I think that's why uh, uh, Arcana's skill did not get hit. Another one that I, I can think of is, um, what is it? Odeon's skill, Endless Trapel. I think that skill should also be slightly nerfed. Only because I think it's way too degenerate and it's, it's being abused. It really is. They have to have three traps in the grave. And then they get to pull them, put them all back and then get one added randomly to hand. Now, the it, I think one decent change for that would be if it, instead of them having three... Maybe, maybe change it to four, five, or six. You know Odeon players play like all traps. They play all the traps in their deck. They're going to set three traps. They can legitimately just activate all three traps on their first turn. Bam, their skill's active. They're going to do whatever they need to do. Um, if it was four, five, or six, they would have to wait till the next turn at the very least. Probably. Uh, but there's that. Um, other skills that actually did get buffs that I did not talk about. Harpy's Last Will and uh, Miracle Fusion Time. So, Harpy's Last Will, if I remember correctly, it used to say that it can be used by banishing five Harpy cards from the grave and adding one Harpy's Feather Duster from your hand from outside to your hand from outside the deck. And now it's being changed and it's basically like, oh, if you have four or more Harpy cards in your grave, uh, you don't have to banish them anymore. It's just, if you have four, add a Harpy's, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster to hand. Um, that's cool and all, but I feel like Harpies are already really good at uh, destroying their back row, destroying your opponent's back row. Uh, if you have a Harpies Hunting Ground, if you're playing Harpies uh, the, the way they're supposed to be played, then you don't really need this skill. Uh, and then as for the E-Hero one, Miracle Fusion Time, uh, before your life points used to... Ne they needed to drop below 1,000, and now all they do need is to drop below uh, 2,000, I think. So if your life points are 2,000 or below. Uh, but before, I think they needed to be below 1,000. So that's the only, I guess, change for that one. That one, that one makes it a little bit more playable. That's pretty good, I guess. Um, and, and that's pretty much that. But whatever, I've ranted long, long enough. That's pretty much it for today. Uh, I just wanted to talk about that stuff, my opinions on some skills and whatever. I probably I probably missed out on a bunch of stuff. Like, uh, I don't know, man. They should they, they should have hit some other stuff. I, I honestly feel like other cards should have been hit. Uh, but whatever, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about these skill nerfs, or actually skill buffs. Uh, there, I don't think there's any a single nerf for any skill, uh, but the ban list did happen, so I mean, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, I would be down to hear your opinions in the comments section below, and that's pretty much it for today. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this RNG extra, but whatever. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Duel Link shenanigans. But anyway, 
Thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day and see you.